typically we talk about stars as having a finite lifetime in which at the end of that lifetime the star decays rapidly and then eventually becomes unstable and explode in a supernova explosion and we think of those as the death of a star. We typically see those headlines on popular science mag magazines. However, when we look carefully, after such explosion, after such instability, is a star completely gone? Is there only left a cloud of plasma and atoms randomly scattered throughout space? Absolutely not. At the center of where that star was is either a highly energetic pulsar or what we call a black hole. Nothing's, nothing dies. Everything goes through cycles. And our concept of a beginning and an end and the death of a star is flawed as when a star becomes unstable and explode, all it does is reveal its core interior, which is centered by what I call a black hole, W-H-O-L-E. A hole, if you'd like, a point of infinite density. Similar to the conventional concept of black holes, however, with the added part of the equation, the other part of the equation, which allows the black holes to radiate. That means that black holes radiate information as much as they absorb information. And that means that stars go through cycles in which they produce enough matter and that in which they accrete enough matter that they become unstable. They shed all that matter, they reveal themselves again, they raise in frequency, they orbit faster afterwards, they regain stability and the cycle starts over again. They start growing again until they become unstable and again. And that fundamental pulse that we could call the Big Bang, the Big Bang just being the part where it explodes and and comes back together and explodes and come back together. That fundamental breathing pulse of creation is the fundamental feedback that creates all things. That is a continuous creation process. Not just one big bang, but actually a continuous creation process that occurs at the heart of every star, every galactic center, every universes, and so on.